Hi everybody, it's Jojo, and we have to do a makeup tutorial. So I fixed the lighting, just gonna start off with the lighting. I definitely fixed the lighting. Um, let me know what you think of the lighting, first and foremost. I think I fixed it, it was way too bright last time. I think it is just enough right now. I think it's bright enough. Cause like when I was filming the last makeup tutorial and stuff, like it looked fine, but then when I uploaded it was like really bright. So I think now it's fine. Yeah, I think now it's fine, but anyways, so into the makeup tutorial. So this is a Scooby-Doo. I got the Scooby-Doo palette, guys. So here it is. Let me just move the mirror out of the way for a second so you guys can see this. Isn't that cute? They always do that 3 d motion picture thing. And then here are all the colors. This is a rainbow palette I think of spring time spring colors I love it there's a there's a lot there's um a row for each of the characters and there is Scooby-Doo and Amira I love it I love the color story um definitely giving Jawbreaker from Jeffrey really nice um I like Scooby-Doo I actually really like Scooby-Doo I love the movies like the live action movies that came out in the early 2000s and I really liked the cartoon too back in the day. So I have on my little floral, cause I don't know. I don't know, cause there's flowers on the packaging. So I was just like, uh, I don't really have a Scooby-Doo, you know, I don't have a Scooby-Doo top or anything. So, but this is cute, wherever it goes. Fragrance of the day, it's gonna be ice lemon pound cake and cream ice lemon pound cake. That's what the fragrance is gonna be today. So I'll put that there. Um, okay, so we're gonna get started. I have a lot to discuss, holy shit. Like, you guys, it's like, it really is like nonstop always with me. By the way, okay, so there's a lipstick called Daphne that comes in this same collection, the Scooby-Doo collection. I can't find the lipstick right now, but I have the lip gloss. I think I'm gonna incorporate the lip gloss in whatever I look I decide to do. I still don't know what exactly I'm doing, but I'm gonna incorporate the lipstick of the, the lip gloss and the eye look I do. I may not go into the Daphne row. I'm, I'm thinking more because I've done a lot of purple pink looks recently. I've done a lot of greens because of St. Patrick's Day. I think I'm gonna do some blues this time. Let me go into the blues. Um, okay, so I don't know where to begin. It's been a whirlwind the last like couple of days it's crazy um a lot has happened since i filmed my last makeup tutorial i guess i'll start off with the earthquake a really bad earthquake came and hit new york yeah it was really bad i was i had just woken up it happened today actually this morning so i hopefully there's been a lot of like fire trucks and police and ambulance i've been hearing them outside obviously a lot of drama happened outside where probably things fell on people and got hurt or whatever so you might hear ambulance or cop cars outside it's because of the earthquake that happened. It was really scary. I've never witnessed an earthquake before in my life. So I was really scared. I had just woken up. All right, I think I'm gonna go into, um, I think I'm gonna go into this periwinkle shade at the bottom. I'm mostly gonna do Fred's shades, I wanna say, because there's a row for Fred, there's a row for Velma, Daphne, Shaggy, and Scooby. Scooby's row, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like there's too many blues on Scooby's row which is the top row. I feel like they should have incorporated like another dark brown or another brown or another like light peachy shade or something. Because I get why they did the blue because of his collar. But I feel like there's enough like blues in the palette that they didn't need to incorporate a lot of blues for Scooby's row, but it is what it is. Okay, I'm gonna go into the, the Fred shade, this like periwinkle shade. Now this, I don't know, cause I've never, use a lot of colorful shades from glam lights i don't know how you know this is going to look so we'll see it's pigmented looks good i haven't done a lot of blue looks recently guys because I, I like blue shades but i feel like blues don't really look good on me i don't know why I just feel like blues don't look good on me. I 
or I'm, I'm using my job right guard. Wow, I'm here from Jeffrey. Can I? Okay, so I think I'm gonna go into the dark blue. I'm gonna go into the dark blue on Fred's Row, Fred's Row again. Ooh, I really like this blue. Oh, this is really pretty. Okay, so earthquake. Let's talk about the earthquake. So yeah, there was a really bad earthquake and um, it it was it was like really scary because I had just woken up. It was in the it was the morning and I was like really sitting down taking a piss and all of a sudden the house was shaking. Like it was like something I've never felt before. And I don't know if anyone there's earthquakes where you guys live or whatever, but where I live, like New York, we don't really get them. So I was really shocked. <clears throat> I really thought I was gonna the whole house was gonna cave in and I was gonna die. Like I really did think that. It lasted for about a minute. And then it stopped. I also originally thought maybe it was construction, drilling, because a lot of, there's a lot of construction in my near my neighborhood. So I also thought maybe it could have been that. But no, I didn't feel like that. It definitely felt like this was something abnormal. So I don't know what earthquakes are. I don't know if <clears throat> how they develop in the earth or what happens or why it happens like that. I don't know. Um, I do know that you should not be near. You have to be under tables, you have to be far away from things that could fall on you. You have to stay in your home. You know, I know that much. I know that much. The, so the Scooby-Doo palette doesn't really have any name, it doesn't have any names on the shades. They have no names on the shades. So, I don't know. I like names on the shades. I think they're cute. I can say I'm going into this or that. But I can only really tell you I'm going into Fred's Row. I mean, that's what I'm doing. So. Unfortunately. They don't have names. But they normally do. So, that's why it was like, it's a little shocking they don't. You know? But I guess they felt like, oh, maybe because, you know, there's each row for each character that they can say, oh, we're just going to Daphne's row, Fred's row, whatever. But, oh, no, I still like names. Um, but this was a whole collection. They've done a couple of Scooby-Doo collections, actually. They did, like, a Halloween one, and they did um, the spring one last year. This is the spring one, obviously. This was came out last year. And I have the lipstick and lip gloss. I can't find where the lipstick is. I don't really like their, their lipstick formula. I might even just throw it out, honestly. I don't like their lipstick formula, but I did get the Daphne lipstick, obviously, because it's it came together with the gloss. The gloss is my favorite. I love the gloss. But the lipstick was really dry, dragged. I didn't like it. Okay, so now... Hmm... God, I know if I should, I think I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna go into Shaggy's row and I'm gonna go into the second shade, which is the lime green. I think I'm gonna go into this and change it up here. Really change it up. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go into Shaggy's row. There's a lot of shades in here. I think this palette was $36, I wanna say. This is probably gonna be a, a harder shade because it's it's a, a lime green. Um, so yeah, the earthquake happened. I'm okay, but I know people probably are, were not okay after that. It, it was really scary. Um, okay, so let's move on from that. Um, I hope it doesn't happen again because it, it just happened today, this morning. I was like, I don't know if I should film this because what happens if there's an earthquake while I'm filming? Like, you know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't think it's gonna happen again, but I don't know. Okay. 
Okay, so let's move on. So Beetlejuice, the trailer came out a few days ago and um, it was, it looks good. It looks good. I mean, this is the thing. It, it's taken how many years to do the sequel? I mean, it is what it is. I was never the biggest Beetlejuice fan, honestly. I never really understood it. <laughs> it's a fun movie, but I never under, really understood it. I don't know what really it is really about. I really don't remember. I don't know who this Beetlejuice is. I don't know if he's the devil or if he's... I don't know where he came from or what the hell it is. Like, I, I think it's just a fun movie that Tim Burton did. I don't think it's supposed to make a lot of sense. I think it's like a scary comedy film. It was never my favorite. I never was that in love with Jupiter Juice. Um, so whatever, the trailer looks okay. But Scooby-Doo, I always loved. Like the movies, I loved it. The one with um, Freddie Prince Jr. and Tim, Tim Michelle Geller. <laughs> it was so good. The first one was better than the second one. The first one was really good. The second one was like, they pulled from the cartoon a little more. The first one was more original, if I remember correctly. But um, the first one was so good. In fact, I might even rewatch the first one very soon. I also really like the cartoon movies too. I loved it. It was a 70s cartoon. You know what Scooby-Doo is. It's about this group of friends and a dog and they go and they solve mysteries of people in masks trying to you know, I don't know, I don't know if kill people or get people or something, but I don't know, they're the villains and they're in masks and they gotta solve the mystery of who it is. It's a fun cartoon, I always loved it. I always loved it. Um, okay, so now the Shimmers. All right, uh, this is about the time I did the Shimmers. There's a lot of options here, guys, a lot of options. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, let me do that. Oh, this is pretty, this blue, oh my God. Let me swatch this green. That's pretty too. Kind of like the green, because the green has like a blue shift to it. So I might even do the green one here. I think I'm gonna go into Shaggy's row again and use that green. Oh my God, there's so much shimmer in here. I love it. Oh my God, they're so soft and creamy. I love these shimmers, guys. Oh my God. Oh my God, you guys. Do you guys not see this? I'm sorry, but like glam light is just too much. I'm gonna be honest. I think glam light's my favorite eyeshadow formula ever. Honestly, I, I don't. I, honestly, I don't think anyone could be glam light at this point. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to everyone else, but yeah, uh, I'm very sorry. But this is just too good. Yeah, this is too good. They nailed this. They nailed this. Oh, this has gotten great reviews. Everyone loves this. The Kiss collection that just came out, people don't like it. That's gotten riding reviews. People don't like the collection. The they, they just don't like it. They don't like the colors. It's not the same formula. But this, I love. Oh my God, this I love so much. I was trying to incorporate something that maybe matched like my top. But then I realized, like, I don't need to match my top. My makeup doesn't need to match my top, right? Like, it really doesn't. This is so cute. It matches a little bit. It's not blue and, like, yellow. Okay, so now what am I going to do? Okay, let me swatch this one here. That's pretty. I think I'm going to go into Scooby's row now. And I think I want to do the first shimmer in Scooby's row and put that, yeah, I think I'm going to put this here. Yeah, like that. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty, you guys. This is so freaking pretty. I can't believe this. This is gonna be my go-to palette all spring. I'll maybe all year, honestly. Oh my God. 
You guys, I'm gonna film a top, my top favorites, uh, palettes of all time, and it, it's, I, I may even film that today, honestly, because this is just, I don't even need to know to look for this, w with this palette. I already know this is gonna be the shit. You just know, you know, you just fucking know. Um, okay, so now I want to talk about something a little bit more deeper here. Um, the two things I'm about to talk about are different, but they, they do go together and they are, they, there is parallel and there's, a, there's definitely similarities to the stories, but I'm definitely going to start off with this. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh my god, it's so pretty. And there's not even that much fallout, really, as bad as, like, other palettes of you. It's crazy. Um, I mean, so... You know, I follow a lot of hot guys on Instagram. I do. I, I follow a lot of hot guys on Instagram. I, um... Yeah, I like looking at them. They're really good looking. Someone posted, and this is a thing. There's gonna be a lot of closed-minded people still out there in this world. I'm not, I'm not like blind to that. I know that it is what it is. We're always gonna have this. You know, it's never gonna be the place where everyone's gonna love LGBTQ people and everyone's gonna accept them. It's never gonna happen. That's just not gonna happen, unfortunately. I wish it would, but it just won't. It never will. Hundred years from now, it's, there's still gonna be people. It is what it is. So someone posted, someone I've been following for a while now posted, um, I'm gonna go back to the Doc Blue and Fred, talking out of corner. Posted a picture of himself looking really good. Okay, he did. I mean, he's good looking. Listen, I, I'm not gonna hate. I mean, this guy's good looking. He posted something in his caption going, there's only two types of genders in this world, man and woman. Men are there to provide for their families and work and provide women are supposed to stay at home cooking clean and 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 take care of the kids basically is what he what he was saying so there's so many things wrong with that caption so many things wrong with that caption i can't even begin to tell you um okay so i guess i'll start off with the fact that he's putting women and men in, in boxes so forget about lgbtq trans non-binary forget about that let's just talk about men and women right now just regular straight relationships right he's putting them in boxes i think everyone should take offense to this caption even straight men and women because he's putting women that that don't probably want to stay home and take care of kids that don't want to live in that that box or men probably don't want to like just like provide for the family or maybe there's a lot of straight couples that don't have kids you know he's like there's basically what he's saying is is that men and women are here just to create life and have families and kids and and play the roles they're supposed to play and maybe there's a lot of straight couples that don't want kids that maybe can't have kids or the roles are switched and maybe the man cooks more or the woman it was really the whole caption was so fucked up it's not uh, uh, so let's just so that in itself is wrong right he's putting he's living in 1920 he's living in men and women on boxes he probably believes that women should stay in their place the men wear the pants in the relationship that women probably shouldn't even have the right to say what they want to feel i feel like men are supposed to be strong and work out and like that's probably what he thinks it's so stereotypically like male male so chauvinist type of behavior it's so sick um also, not that this, it is what it is, but, you know, normally people who say this type of shit is, is straight white males. This guy is a straight Latin male. So he's actually in a minority because there would be people that look at him and be like, well, you shouldn't even be in this country. You know what I'm saying? There will people that will believe that and say that. So for him to be in a minority and to say something like this is really cringe the whole thing's cringe the whole thing's cringe even if he was a white straight male obviously the whole thing's fucking cringe but the fact he's latin i get it doesn't matter what ethnicity you are there's gonna be black people that even think lgbtq is fucked up and wrong or whatever i get it there's everyone is gonna feel this way a lot a lot of people do feel this way no matter the ethnicity but it's kind of worse when it does come from that because it's like they're in a minority so it's like it's kind of worse and then I feel like if even women, straight women, agree with that caption, they don't respect themselves because they're putting you in a, he's putting you in a box. 
where this is all you're supposed to know how to do and that's it. You're not supposed to evolve or do anything else but this. Like that's all he, that's what the caption is saying. So women agree with that. Ugh, I was really cringed. I posted, I, I commented, I posted why I unfollowed him. I commented and I said, listen, this is why you're gonna be single your whole life because no woman, man, or anyone in between is gonna put up with your closed-minded opinions. And, that, and that's what I said to him. He replied to me going, I'd rather be single forever. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, listen, he might, he probably won't be single forever because he's really attractive. There will be women that are only into looks and be like, well, he's hot. It doesn't matter if he's has an ugly personality. <clears throat> he's good looking. We see all the time on Instagram. A lot of couples, you see them, the guy's hot, the girl's hot. If the girl was fat, the, the guy would not be with her. Unfortunately, that's how society is, how Instagram is, how everyone is. People, uh, muscular men want like a fit girl <laughs> and you see it all the time. That's just what it is. I'm not like saying something that's not true here. If you look at men on Instagram that are into fitness, they would never be with a fat girl and vice versa. A fit girl will never be with a fat guy. It's unfortunate that people are just really all about looks. I mean, that's it's all looks game. And I get like looks are important somewhat, but personality and how you feel and what your beliefs are is also very important. And... I just feel like if you have an ugly personality, you're ugly to me. Like, I look at him now, that guy that posted that, and yeah, he's good looking, but I could never see myself wanting to think that I could be like really attracted to him after he posted that. Because to me, like that's just ugly what he posted. Now, Taking away the men and women aspect, saying there's only two genders, is very offensive to the LGBTQ community. Okay, so I have to bring this up. Um, very, very offensive to the LGBTQ community, 100%. It's, it's, it's unbelievable that he... <sighs> it's so fucked up, it really is. Um, you know, we live in a society where I feel like it should be fine to be trans. It should be okay to be like, listen, I was born in the wrong gender. I should be able to fix this and be who I want to be. And there should be people that are non-binary like myself that feel like maybe two genders or feel like neither gender. I feel like, you know, there's a spectrum and there's, they feel in between and that's okay too. And I feel like a lot of people unfortunately don't believe that. And when I was reading the comments, um, I was really sad to see that a lot of gay people were, were siding with him, a lot of, a lot of gay men. Um, reciting with his caption and even replying to me saying I was wrong so I was really in shock about that and it was actually very sad because to, to in our own community really like it, it's like really horrendous to be like to say something like that because he could have easily been like he's I mean listen what he said is actually against gay, gay men too because he's basically saying that a man's supposed to be straight in a relationship with a woman, play his role, and she's supposed to play her role. That's basically what he was saying in his caption. So the gay man that's that's agreeing with this is actually stupid. <laughs> that's actually stupid. Because he's basically telling you that you're not going with society because you're not creating family with a woman. So it's kind of like they're siding with him, but they look stupid doing that. So... I don't understand it. I really don't understand that. I mean, they look the gay men siding with him looked absolutely ridiculous and, and totally crazy siding with him. So I was just like beside myself with that. I just thought that was very sad that gay men feel like people who are trans or people who are non-binary are fucked up in the head because that's not the case at all. That's not the case at all. And, but there are people that think that is what it is. Just in the same token, people are gonna think that him being Latin is wrong, that he shouldn't be here in this country or they should, he, they, he should be like in his country. There's gonna be people that are gonna say, oh, gay men are wrong too. So the people that are saying this type of shit is so fucked up, but they're the ones that are agreeing with it and are, are okay with this. So it's really, and that's why people are never going to grow in society. And that's why people are never going to 
really evolve because there's gonna be people all over, no matter what gender, what ethnicity you are, that's going to agree with his statement. And that's what's so sad. And that's what's so sad about it. It's so sad. I cringed, I really did. And the people that were posting, replying to my posts, oh, that was so fucking cringy. They were like, oh, 90% of, someone, someone's commented on mine saying 90% of the population hates the LGBTQ community. They're disgusted by them. They just don't have the balls to say it. I'm like, how fucked up in the head are you that you think that that's okay to say? It's like, oof. And then someone commented going, oh, don't lie. If, if you had the chance to have sex with him, you would. First of all, as I said earlier, I'm not all about looks. He's hot, he's sexy. Prior to this post, that may have been the case, I'm not gonna lie. After the post, I, I can't look at him the same way. I couldn't do it. I couldn't physically go into bed with him and, and have sex with him, with him feeling this way, obviously. You know what I mean? And these are the type of men, someone commented and they're so right, these are the type of men that would fuck trans girls behind everyone's backs and hide it and lie about it. And that's true too. That's a true statement as well. Not saying he's the one that, do, that that's doing that or he, he does that. I'm just saying there's a lot of men that, that do do that, that feel that way, that are hiding it. And I'm just saying. So I was really disgusted by that um, post. And I just think everyone should take offense to what he said. Not just trans and non-binary or gay men or anyone. I feel like even straight men and women should take offense to that. Because as I said, he's putting you in a box. That you're supposed to be this way, and if you're not, then you're wrong. It's The whole thing is cringe and so fucked up. And I was, like, really sad by it. Because, you know, it's sad. Like, he's a very good-looking guy. And I just feel like if any woman really respects themselves, they would not be with him. I'm gonna be honest with you. If a woman ever ever does date him or be with him, they're not they don't respect themselves. That's my opinion. But as I said, people just care about looks. I mean, it's all a looks game, I guess. And I get it. Like looks are important. I'm not saying looks are not important. You know what I mean? I get it. Like I wouldn't. You know, at the end of the day, like. People care about looks. You know, I care about looks too. Like, it's not, it's nothing, anything utterly abnormal. But it's said that, you know, people are still programmed like this. That looks, looks all are, are mostly a lot to most people. Like, looks are all that matters really sometimes. And it's so sad. Because in my case, it doesn't. Looks are important, but it's not the whole thing. It's it's not. So I have followed him, and yeah, I was just very sad to see all the comments. A lot of comments were like, "No, you're wrong. You know, you shouldn't be saying this. You you know, you're not really talking about bio biology here because gender and sexuality are different." And they're just they you know people were trying to like get through to this guy, but and it just seemed like everyone that was agreeing with him, like. They, they looked and seemed crazy. Like, they were the obvious Trump supporters. Which, again, is crazy because this guy's Latin and Trump is not... <sighs> the whole thing's really ridiculous. I, I can't. <laughs> I just can't take it. But it is what it is. Okay, so I'm going to go to Concealer now. C10 by Jeffrey. So, yeah, I mean, the whole thing is really ridiculous. It's very sad. And this sort of brings me to the next topic I'm about to talk about. So... You know, I'm talking to this guy and he just wants to stay friends. You know, we have sex sometimes and um, I like him a lot. Um, but I told him basically I had a full conversation with him last night. I said, listen, I know what the tea is. I know what's going on here. I know that you like me. I think you're physically attracted to me. He identifies as straight, by the way. A lot of people also don't understand that either. They don't understand if a straight guy if the device straight could be into me, I'll talk about that next. That's a whole other topic, but I'll talk about the next. But he's only been with women he, he identifies as straight. I said, the reason why you really don't 
want to take things to the next level with me and date me is because like all the other men in my life that look at me as a nut to get off they're not comfortable with themselves it's not me it's more them they don't feel comfortable dating someone like me out in public because they're afraid what society is going to think of them which exhibit a that post that guy posted on instagram that's why this guy is so afraid to be himself and be and to date someone like me is because of exhibit a the guy on that instagram post you know what i mean so he's but then again it's like who gives a fuck what he thinks like who cares what anyone thinks a lot of people are not going to really give a fuck either like they're really not you know some people would but then again why do you care you know but then a lot of people won't care like they really wouldn't like so what you're dating someone trans or you're dating someone non-binary like who gives a fuck like i never understood that but men care they care what society thinks of them grown-ass men and he did agree with me. He said, yeah, that's basically what it is. Like, I'm afraid, um, you know, it's something I normally do. I, I'm not comfortable with it. And he told me, like, if you were born a, a woman, like a, a cis woman, I would, I would probably would be dating you right now, he said to me. You know? So, and I told him, I said, you know, I just have to accept this. This is the type of men that are attracted to me. And this is how it's always going to be because this is how it's always been. You know, men that are attracted to me, this is how they act, unfortunately. You know, it is what it is. Like, we can't change the way these men are or operate. They want the picture-perfect lifestyle because they identify as straight. So they want the picture, but they want a wife with kids. You know, the you know that's what they want, the picture-perfect. Like, that's what they think that that's their picture-perfect because, you know that's how a lot of people do think like that guy that posted an Instagram post you know what I mean like that's what people believe and think that that's the only type of and I get you know that's how we grew up grew up like society jammed it into our brains but it's such a narrow way of thinking of what life really is unfortunately you know to their beliefs life is doesn't it doesn't work like that it's not like we're here just to have a family and then move on with our lives and then and die like that's not the way society should be like that shouldn't be the only way you have to live your life and unfortunately like that's what it is because we were jammed they jammed it into us our whole lives now, if they jammed it into us a whole lives from beginning of time, that gay couples are okay, straight people are okay, bi non-binary people are okay, black people are okay, everyone's... Then today, we would feel that way. But because the society for so many years have treated it so taboo and so weird, it's like there's going to be people that are always going to feel that way, unfortunately. And that's just the way it is. Yeah. So I told him, I said, listen... I'm okay with being friends if this is what you want to do. I would love to take things to the next level with you. You obviously don't because you don't feel comfortable, which is so sad because this is a grown ass man, you know? But it is what it is. As I said, this is how people operate. This is how it is. So it is what it is. For me personally, I'm tired of being played by men, honestly. I really, really am. I'm really tired of it. I'm tired of the games. I'm tired of. Well, I, I'm okay fucking you if no one else knows about it. Like, I'm this secret all the time. And it's kind of like, it gets played out. It's like, come on. Like, you're 30-something years old. You're a grown-ass man. You really care that much what some stranger in in the room is going to think of you holding hands with me or whatever? Like, is, is that really really what you're going to care about like you're like most of these people you're never going to see again most of the people are not as i said not going to give a flying fuck but he's so in his head with it they all are it's not just him like everyone is and i talk about this a lot too like i've, I've said this a lot on my channel this is just the way it is and i'm always gonna have to deal with this but i just have to learn to accept it you know i just have to learn to accept this is my fate I know a lot of people are gonna be like, oh no, oh no, like you'll find someone, you're a great catch or whatever. It's not me though, guys. It's really not. Like you don't have to comment that because I know it's not me. And I'm not trying to gloat. I know I'm good looking. I know I'm nice. I know I have a great personality. I know that I have a lot to offer in a relationship. I know it's not me. 
so and i'm not trying to gloat saying that i just i just know i'm gonna get those comments oh don't be down on yourself you're a great catch baby will let your man will be lucky to have you i know that but unfortunately society is what it is and i <laughs> it's always gonna be like this you know it's gonna be very rare that i'm gonna find an actual man that's comfortable enough in their skin that's not going to care that they're dating me but that has not happened yet and could it happen yeah but at this point it doesn't seem likely because unfortunately and i know you guys don't know this but i get hit on by a million different guys a, get, a, a day on these dating apps and they're all the same they're all the same and i know it's so sad saying that but they're all the same they all don't want, I literally get comments. Some of them are really blunt about it too. Like they don't even give a fuck. They're like, listen, I will never date a non-binary or trans person, but I would fuck you like there's no tomorrow. So let me fuck you. And then I can just go into the next one and no one will ever know. There have been men that's commented and told me that. A lot of them don't care. Like they'll literally like be so blunt about it. And they think after telling me that, that I'm gonna what? go like roll over and beg like <laughs> i'm sorry i'm just not that person if you were looking for that i'm the wrong one because i'm i'm definitely not that person sometimes i do give into it because like i said i'm normal I, I crave sex i mean sex is a important part of life like you know everyone has sex i mean i get it you know like so I crave it. So sometimes I do, I'm like, you know, whatever. I'll get my, I get my nut off too. You get your nut off, whatever it is, what it is. But, you know, a lot of times it's not the way I want it. Like I really don't. It's just sometimes I give into it because I crave sex. And if this is how I have to get it, this is how I have to get it. But I respect myself too much to want to continue doing this. I'm better off not fucking anyone ever again, never having sex again, if this is the way men are gonna treat me and use me. You get what I'm saying? And I know a lot of people can relate to me. I know a lot of people are trans and non-binary, maybe even subscribe to me and watching this could relate to me. And the only, t the only thing I can really say to you guys is that you're not doing anything wrong. It's not you. It's, it's them, and it really is the truth. They're depriving themselves of their own feelings, of their own wants because of society. Because of what they're afraid Tom, Dick, and Harry is going to say about, the, about him behind their back. And it's kind of like, who cares? A lot of these people are strangers anyways. And a lot of people really don't care. Like... They really don't. They don't. I mean, a lot of people I will say have grown and have accepted it. You know, they have. A lot of so a lot of people haven't, but a lot of people have as well. So it's kind of like, why do you care so much? If I cared so much what people thought about me, I would never leave the house. gotta grow thicker skin these people these men gotta go grow thicker skin and there's so many of them that act this way it's so sad but it's sad that they're in their 30s doing this too or their late 20s like you would expect this more in high school or in their early 20s and it's like the grown ass really grown ass men still feel this way okay so now i'm gonna go into I think I'm gonna, I don't know. I think I'm gonna go into a Scooby shade, like this mid-tone blue, I think. It's like a greenish blue. And smoke on my lash line with this. Okay, now we're gonna do mascara. 
better than sex. Yeah, so people don't understand how straight men could be into me, right? How are you going to identify as straight if you're into me? Well, it's simple. Well, maybe it's not that simple. But... Men are a looks type of person. Like, men are a lot about looks. And a lot about like getting their nut off, regardless if they're in a relationship, they're in love or not, whatever. They wanna get their nut off, they like looks. They like holes, okay? <laughs> they like to fuck. It matter if it's a vagina, if it's an ass, if it's your mouth, that's what it is, okay? A lot of straight men like to look at someone who looks like a girl. Sometimes me having what I have, you know, a male genitalia, sometimes doesn't matter to the normal straight man's eye because they're looking at me and they see a female and they see that, okay, I can still fuck her. I mean, I'm an ass guy, whatever it is, whatever it is. I know I'm sounding vulgar, but I don't know how to say this without sounding vulgar. Um. And that's what it is. That's what it is. But again, it is sad because they they only really care about the look. Like that's what that's what they want. Like they want to get their nut off and move on with it. I wish the straight men that are into me that identify as straight would want something more. But unfortunately, they never do. But they. But that's why. Okay. Now, as I said before, I think I've said this before. If I look like. Drain the Rock Johnson, or if I look like, you know, your typical guy, whatever. <laughs> You're one of the mills, man. These straight men that do identify as straight would not be into me and probably wouldn't want to do anything with me at all. So it's a spectrum, just like gender is a spectrum, sexuality is a spectrum too. Could they be seen as bi curious? Yeah. Could they be seen as straight but not caring what you have between your legs yeah a lot of people don't understand that i get it i know it's not the easiest thing to comprehend i understand it i hope after shedding some light and telling you guys hopefully maybe you understand a little bit more too but it is what it is you know that's what it is no gay man i know people are probably like well why don't you be with a gay man then if these straight men play you gay men are not attracted to me guys they're not. It will never work with a gay man. They're not attracted to me. I look too much like a female. Gay men want to be with a man. That's what they want. And I get that. I totally get that. I'm not your typical man at all. <laughs> I mean, let's just keep this very real here. Um, you know, it is what it is. I know what I have between my legs, and that's why I identify as non-binary. But at the end of the day, I... I do look, sound, and, and feel. My emotions are very much like a female. I I think more like a female. I don't think like a man. And that's just what it is. I'm basically, literally, the only male thing about me is what's between my legs. I'm going to be quite honest with you here. So gay men would not be into me. Okay, so that, that answers your anyone's question if they say, why don't you be with a gay man? That's what it is. I have friends that say that to me. It's never going to work. I try to get through to them, but they still don't quite understand... I mean, it is what it is, but um, people are just not going to understand it, I guess. And I just have to accept that, but I understand it, I get it, and whatever. Now I'm going to do highlight, I think... Hmm, I don't think I'm going to do the glam light one. I'm, I think I'm going to do Jeffree's Ice Crusher Skin Frost Palette. And I think I'm going to go into Snow Job. Can I do a snow job? 
Maybe I'll make snow job and ice pick headache. But first, I want to put some shimmer on my chest. So I'm going to go into such as Bling from Jeffree Supreme Frost. And I'm going to put some of that on my chest because I like to glisten for the gods on my chest and my collarbone here. I just like that. I like a little shimmer on my chest. And I can't spray the Bath & Body Works shimmer sprays because they get wet and I don't like the wet tacky feeling on my chest. So I don't do that, but I like, I like this. It's really pretty. Look at that other shimmer. I might have to dye that down a little bit because I went a little stir crazy this time. But, oh my God. It's so pretty. Okay. Now. Okay, so I'm going to go into Ice Pick, Headache, and Snow Drops. I'm going to I'm gonna mix these two. Snow Drops is more of a green glittery shift, and, and Ice Pick, Headache is more of a pinky blue. So I think this would be go good with the eye look we created today. But I'm glad I finally, I think I finally fixed the lighting. I think the lighting is perfect. I think it's bright, but not bright, too bright. The last couple of videos, I know no one really commented or had a problem with it or, or they didn't really say they did, but I, I, I saw the problem and I feel like those videos were way too bright. And I looked literally like totally washed out. I looked like a ghost. Like I get it, you guys want better lighting and stuff, but I can't have it that damn bright. So I, I definitely had to fix that and I, I think I did. There's different settings. I got a very mini, a mini one. I don't got this big one. It's very small. I know most YouTubers, they get the big, the big ring light. I have a very small ring light, like for the desk, for the table here. I'm gonna go into the ColourPop blush, Liz McGuire Delish. Just spring blush. Okay, so I can only do a nude with this. You guys know when I do blue <laughs> looks like this, there's no way I can do a red, any color. Um, no, not even that. I was thinking Circus Peanut, but now that won't even work. I think I'm gonna do like a really fucking nude. Like I think I'm just gonna do mannequin. No, yeah, I think I'm just gonna do mannequin. And I'll top it with the Daphne lip gloss. But yeah, I have to, I can't, there's no way. There's no way. I'm gonna do um, the Rudolph lip liner from ColourPop. Mannequin liquid lip. Okay, so as this is drying, the lip is drying, I'm gonna just talk about this for a second. Um, this Scooby Doo palette, guys, the back. I love it. This is so cute. If you're a Scooby-Doo fan, or if you're not a Scooby-Doo fan, and you still just love the colors and you're a Glam Life fan, the colors are cute, the formula is amazing. Not a lot of kickback in the pans. I love the color story here. Um, I love it. I think the, the eye look came out amazing, and I really think the formula is bomb. The colors are beautiful, and I can't wait to do many more looks this whole entire spring going into summer with it. And all year round, I'm gonna, this is gonna be my go-to palette. 100%, I'm 100%. Okay, um, lip gloss. So we'll do lip gloss now. The lip is drying. I think I'm gonna go into Diamond Juice from Jeffree and then top it with the Glen Light Gloss. This is more of a nude. Um, I'm gonna do a separate review on what I really think of the Scooby Doo palette. Uh, overall, I do love the, 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 the color story and the formula and everything. It's 25 color palette. 
I love it. But I will definitely do a, um, what I really think, like the full, like I always do, you know, in the video coming up right after this. Oh, Diamond Juice is my favorite gloss from him. Nothing could top it. And now the Glam Light Gloss Daphne. I do love Glam Light's lip gloss formula. The only thing I didn't like is that I wish I would have gotten I could have gotten the gloss separately from the lipstick, and it they only sold it in the pack, unfortunately. So pretty. Fragrance of the day is Ice Lemon Pound Cake from Beth and Body Works. Love this stuff. Cream of the day, Ice Lemon Pound Cake as well. Okay, so let's bring you guys over here. Like I always do. Oh, that smells so good. Here is the eye look. I think the eye look came out really, really pretty. I love it. You guys, I freaking love it. Oh, I love the cardigan and everything. Yeah, so there it is. There's my Scooby-Doo. Makeup tutorial using Scooby Doo Palette from Glam Light. I hope you guys enjoy. I think I'm going to name it the Scooby Snack Makeup Tutorial, something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, I'm going to do my hair. I'm going to finish getting ready, and then I'm going to film my palette review of the Scooby Doo palettes, reviewing the whole thing and what I think, and swatching everything and comparing other palettes, stuff like that. That'll be coming up very soon. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.